<coughs> hey, good morning, guys. Today's uh, gonna be a quick review of the uh, Ruger LCP2 and 22. This is uh, actually the first pistol I bought in a while. Uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Jay, was like, "Hey, man, I need a." I bought one of these. It shoots pretty good. So we're gonna test fire on some steel down there. Uh, make test fire on this paper target down here on the brain side right there. Uh, I think I'm going to plink at the field down there at about 15 yards. Um, so a lot of decent features about it. We'll go over those in a second. We'll see the test fires. we got three magazines in here. It's a mix of all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, it's got lead round nose in there. It's got some hollow point coppers. Uh, hollow point coppers there. Uh, so we're just going to test fire and kind of see how it goes. <coughs> This thing, it is aim with this thing. All right, that was kind of surprising there. 30 rounds of mix. Random bag, 22 everything. And uh, shot all 30 rounds very, very well. Um, no malfunctions, I'm actually pretty surprised there. Uh, so some quick things about the features on this. Recoil on it's very minimal. It does have a pretty thick steel barrel there. Uh, only one magazine is included when I bought it. Uh, these two uh, are snagged from the top. Um, so it's got a it's modeled up to the LCP2, which is obviously there on the slot. Um, it's got a forward push safety. I didn't like it when I racked it because it was the safety clicked on. Um, I'm going to show you here for a second. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but when I loaded the, the gun and pulled it back like this, my finger pushed it back by accident safety in the weapon so you got to remember to push it forward to take it back off safe uh what else do we have here so a glock style um, trigger safety there yeah. Yeah. it does have a magazine disconnector safety because i can't press the trigger all the way through without the magazine there it goes um does lock back to the rear like a normal pistol should slide releases way back over here in front of the safety so you can move your thumb at least i'm all the way to the back uh, with the thumb push them out of safety to the rear like that, push forward to shoot it. Um, it's a smooth shooting pistol. Like I said, I'm fairly nice so far. I know it's only two rounds, but ammunition is kind of expensive right now. Uh, so I'm going to keep shooting them. I'm going to rent this out to some students, see what they think about it. I guess as a niche, it will fill in as a decent, I won't say backup piece, but as a backup gun. Um, I don't buy 380 pocket rockets. People know that. I've tried them all. They're all shitty. All, except for the the bodyguard was decent you know, for the money. Um, but really, was shit. The car arms were shit. God damn, car arms is a bunch of bullshit. Um, the 9mm was okay, the old one. So all those new polymer car arms suck. The Keltec P3AT, it worked okay, but you got to keep them very, very, very clean. The Ruger LCP1 was okay. The LCP2 had a way nicer trigger, but kind of a piece of junk. I guess nowadays for 200 bucks, they were okay. Well, not 200 bucks anymore, maybe a year ago. That pre period were 200 bucks. But this one I think would be a good trainer, good loner. Um, it's in 22, it's pretty cheap. So, anyways, that's, uh, that's kind of what 
my initial review is going to be about. Um, this is the size comparison to a J frame. All right, so Smith and Wesson J frame right there. Uh, and the Ruger LCP2 holds 10 rounds of 22. <clears throat> As you can tell, it's a lot thinner, flatter, skinnier. Probably need to do a review of that J frame. See some miles and some better days. Um, so that's it in size comparison to thickness. Uh, the sights on there are very rudimentary, as you can probably see. It's just a couple of flat bumps. Uh, on the other side there, the texturing is not bad. Uh, like I said, probably a backup piece or a good learner trainer for somebody on the cheap. All right, retails at about 300 bucks. Uh, I bought this one at a deal, used slightly. Um, so anyways, check them out. So good.